We just got shut down for filming in Dollar Tree. Look at there! Got me a little mermaid. Oh. Are you gonna fish that thing whole? Super glue, maybe. <laughs> Can you believe that? I cannot. Uh huh. Woo, welcome back to the channel, everybody. You are not gonna believe what we're doing today. You probably just got a sneak peek right over my shoulder. We got this man right here. We got myself, and we got one Dollar Tree. That's right. We're going. We're, we're shopping at Dollar Tree today, Chris. We have given been given the challenge by everybody on the channel that we need to make our own baits. We need to do a 1v1 and make our own baits out of non-traditional stuff. And I thought, well, why not the Dollar Tree? Everybody else is closed. So we're not gonna do Walmart. We're not gonna make it at one of those places that has everything. We're gonna do bargain shopping. So here's the deal. $10. Yep. You got 10 minutes. Okay. Go in there and find as whatever you think you can turn into a bait. Terminal tackle doesn't matter. So hooks, line, weights, bobbers, whatever you want to fish with, that's on you. Okay. You just need to figure out what you're going to do to attach it to. $10, 10 minutes, 10 items. That's 10 items. If you go over $10, which we're at the Dollar Tree, I mean, how can you go over $10? But if you go over $10, for every 50 cents you go over, it's going to count you an ounce in fish, and it's the person who catches the biggest fish. 10 items is, is what we're after. Um, or less. You game? Let's do it. Let's go. Chris so we've got 10 minutes important thing here food does not count okay. you can't go like buy hot dogs can't like, use food. right you can't use food we've actually got to build a lure with dollar store stuff huh I want to go first you want to go first yeah all right well here we go 10 minutes on the clock you've only got ten dollars right, let's do this thing now I might put some stuff back well, of course, I like, I like you've only got, you, you pretty much got 10 items. Oh my goodness. Easter grass. Did, you just got a pencil? Pencils. <laughs> We should have made this five minutes. Cause we're, we're zooming through. Dental, that's a good one. That's a good idea. I'm not gonna use it, but that's a good one. Where was it? Uh huh. Yeah. So we just got shut down. We're gonna have to show you the baits we picked here in a minute. You're just gonna have to trust us. Cause uh, we just got shut down for filming in Dollar Tree. Apparently you can't film in Dollar Tree, so. We'll bring you back in just a second. All right, so basically what we got told, um, really quickly, I've got to go in and finish getting my stuff. Chris just got his stuff, I believe. Um, I got off the phone with the manager, the owner of this Dollar Tree, and he, super nice guy, he said we could film, just not right now, with everything going around. Um, as quick as me and Chris are having to go through the store, there's really no way not to get within six feet of people as we're zooming by them. Um, so he just wants us to slow down, don't film it this time, but I think we're gonna work something out where we can do stuff like this in the future. Um, so shout out to Dollar Tree, thanks a lot, buddy. And uh, we'll get, we'll show you the stuff that we get here in just a second. All right, folks, so we are done with the, uh, the picking of the baits. Chris ended up with 10 items, he, he maxed himself out, and I ended up with eight. I only needed eight. I feel like I don't need the extra two. We'll see if that pays off or not. So, Chris, we gotta figure out, we gotta see what you got since we got kicked out. Right. I don't know which one's yours. A feathered boa. Yep. I got me some Easter grass. Okay. Holographic. Got me a little mermaid. Oh. Are you gonna fish that thing whole? Super glue, maybe. <laughs> Super glue, got it. Uh, got a little rat. A cat toy. Got I've himself got a cat toy. Some frogs. Okay. And lizards, and lizards, frogs and lizards. Guaranteed right there. That's, I'm, that's money. I'm very confused as to what you're gonna do with this stuff. Earplugs, pencils. I don't understand that. All right. Some uh, red ribbon. 
and red ribbon. Ruban, transparent is what it says. You got one more item. And some dental floss. Dental floss. And you're gonna make, how many baits do you think you can make out of this? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six baits. Maybe seven. You think you're gonna create that many baits? Yeah. I'm only creating like two or three baits. Okay. I wanna have stuff to go to. Something might not work, I can flip over. I'm gonna have no, at least seven baits. I'm eggs and I'm all eggs in one basket for me. All right, well, how do you feel about it? Do you feel confident? I'll at least catch two fish on two baits. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Let's see what you got, big right. boy. So in my bag, I've got cotton balls. 100% pure cotton balls. I've got a painting kit. It come, even comes with a, even comes with a brush. The only thing we sort of overlapped on is this boa that is literally yeah, like shedding it. everywhere. So we've got the boa. I've also got some Crayola Play-Doh. Um, so maybe make something out of that. I have a, uh, a another just pretending product. You're just gonna wear that. I'm gonna wear this the entire time. This is really just for me. I wanna feel pretty out there. I've got some shoelaces. I've got some holographic you know, Fish don't wear shoes, right? Shoot. <laughs> All right, I've got some holographic duct tape. All right, let me get close up with that. Got some green. Green, I went with green. You see what I'm going for there? Yeah. And then to tie it all together, I got some floral wires, just some real thin wire. Um, pretty much, probably what you're gonna use for the dental floss, I'm using this for. So those are my eight items. I spent a total of $8, you spent $10. Let's start making the baits. We're really gonna show them to you, the finished products, once we get to the pond. Let's go. So, after I have worked on my baits, I have not seen Chris's yet. He has not seen mine. We are gonna figure out if our homemade baits will catch bass or fish, really any fish, we're after any fish. The biggest fish wins. Um, we're fishing both out of the new the new boat, uh, the new bass boat conversion, John boat. Oh, you've already got yours right there? It's an all-American box, baby. Let's go to the back of your truck and do the reveal. All right, Chris. You're gonna be jealous. You might not even wanna film yours after you see these are masterpieces. Well, let's go. Stick bait. What in the world? So I got a number two pencil, a couple trebles. Got a little swivel on top. Got some little feathers. Look at that, baby. It's like a jerk bait. Guggen Scout, you got nothing on this, baby. Guggen Scout, nothing on that. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, next. Next, I got my top water bait. The mouse that left the house. That one actually I like. I like that one. That looks pretty good. Yeah, the frog. Look at that, boys and girls. You actually like went creative on yours. The frog bite. You made way more than I did. I got my Barbie head jig. Okay. Barbie's now bald. She's got her summer cut. I'm actually really impressed. You did way more than I did. And I just got my ribbon and little sparkles. With a little earplug tie on. Just to give it some, some girth. Just so I could tie it on easier. It's hard to tie those things around something. Then I got my two. How many did you make? Jeez. This is for my brim set up. Okay. There's a hook in there. Yep, I see it. Just same thing with this. Just a little foil action. A little sparkles. Alright, I'm only slightly worried. You went you did you did way more work than I did. Okay, way more work than I did. So mine, I'm gonna make a worm on the water as, as needed. I didn't want it to dry out, so the Play-Doh. Pretty good, but I, I can't make it immediately. Will I won't. it stay together? Yeah, it'll stay together, I think. But I didn't want it to dry out. Here are mine. All right, what we'll we got here? It's like a little swimming hair jig. But it's also on a shaky head, like, rig, so I can drag it like a jig. But it's wrapped. It's that's what about my mind are on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got like a little feather on it. I even did two in like different colors with feathers and hair. So I've got white, white and purple, and then I've got like a little chartreuse, white and purple. I'll say June bug. June bug. Yeah, June bug. Whatever. What's that other green thing over there? Oh, this. Yeah. This is an actual like oh, lure. Okay. <laughs> if I can use this, that'd be great. But I don't think you're gonna. Well, this, these are the other two. So it's basically ones? the exact same oh, ones, but they're small. for brim. They're just yes, two that's different. That's a big hook for a brim. No. Yeah. About the same size was hook that, as yours. That number one? No. Those are pretty close. Okay. You say so. Those are pretty close. They'll be catching my baits. <laughs> Whatever. Those are what I came up with. You got way more creative than I did. Like, I immediately had this in my... That's why I said, 
when we were filming it, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. I've got one plan and I'm hoping it works. You went with a bunch of different plans and I'm a little nervous. You, you may catch more fish, but all I gotta do is catch a bigger fish because it's the biggest fish wins. If we catch a fish, we'll probably be winning. We'll probably, yeah, whoever catches a fish will be winning probably. All right, so let's, uh, let's get them uh, rigged up and get in the boats. I'm ready. I'm ready for the homemade bait throw, Whoa, that was very close to my face. I'm ready for the homemade bait throw down. I'm gonna paper it off. We're gonna make it like a finesse one. You gonna flatten the tail? Yeah. If this stays on there more than three casts, I think I've done some amazing work. All right, I'm switching jigs. Hey, luck on the red one. Oh, I've already lost the tail. <laughs> <laughs> I've already lost the tail. It will just stay on the hook. Like, I didn't even cast that other one, and it came off and, like, broke immediately. Well, my skirt ain't staying up on this one for some reason. It's not going to stand up on this hook, but catch her. I have... Oh, Dylan's barber hair jig. It won't stay up. Stone broke free of the catcher. I was like, okay, I, I get it. I get it. It's, I figured out who it was. Woo! That, that did good. not sound good. Well, this one's done for. And just like that, that wheel was gone. All right, let's drive my frog. I mean, my rat. Hmm. <laughs> They're both top waters, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe. This one definitely is top water. Uh, the pencil should sink, I would think. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't even get cast back into that pocket very well. That's probably better. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. On the homemade lure. Look at this. Boom. On the homemade lure. Can y'all believe that? Oh my goodness, he was barely, barely hooked. Barely, it fell right out. Oh my goodness, on the homemade lure. Look, my lure's falling apart. He's got his hair falling out of it. It is purpose. Oh my gosh, on the homemade lure. <laughs> Can you believe that? I cannot. All right, we gotta get a measurement. We got the measure in here, we gotta yeah, get gotta a measurement think. on him. 0.45. 0.45, so he's pretty much half a pound. Half a pound, a little half a pounder. So he's probably what? Uh, close to seven ounces. He's a skinny fella. On the homemade lure, dollar or not even dollar general. That's Dollar Tree. That's the Dollar Tree where everything is a dollar. How about that? That's what I'm talking about. All right, folks, that's gonna do it. We got one fish on the homemade lure. How about that? That was crazy. Uh, from the Dollar Tree of all places, uh, just goes to show you that you can buy anything from anywhere, but unless the fish are dumb enough to take it, you aren't going to catch anything. Challenge was is that we would go to the Dollar Tree, we'd spend a maximum of $10, so 10 items. You could make as many lures as you wanted, but they had to be homemade lures. We could use our own terminal tackle, um, and that's basically what we did. I only ended up spending $8 on stuff but I put all my eggs in like one basket. I had just basically hair jigs for both bluegill and bass. And uh, then I also had Play-Doh, which by the way, Play-Doh does not hold well in water. Just throwing that out there for anyone wondering, Play-Doh is not a good way to make cheap worms. We gotta give it to Chris. You didn't catch a fish, but your stuff was the most creative stuff. Like you used a cat toy rat, which, was interesting it had a good look to it it reminded me a lot of the dance is eel which was a, a terrible bait which if y'all haven't seen that video hopefully i'm putting it up somewhere up here but you also had hair jigs like i did like we were thinking the same i think on the bluegill and the hair jigs yeah but your jigs actually looked way more creative like they were like legit jigs they were I just couldn't point. believe you couldn't get caught, couldn't get bit on one. I can't catch one on a regular jig. So well, that's what made me think I was gonna catch one on a jig I made. Facts. <laughs> Those are facts right there. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment below on if I don't know, just anything. Give us some suggestions on what you want to see. And you guys know what to do. Get right over here, 
hit my little logo right there. It is the subscribe button, or you can go below it, the red subscribe button. Turn on the ding dong notifications. It's a little bell right next to it. All that does is send you an email anytime I drop a new video. And uh, Chris, do you have any parting words? No more homemade jigs. No more homemade jigs. You heard it here first. All right, guys, we will see you next time.